What's wrong? What's wrong? What? What's wrong? That man tried to kill us. Is what's wrong? We almost got turned into skellies, we did. <sighs> and then I'd never see Da or Enid or... Errol, hey. Want to see something my mum taught me? Close your eyes. Take a deep breath. And imagine you're somewhere safe and warm. Are you there? Aye. Aye? Yeah. Great. Where are we? We're in... It's a library. Huh? With cosy seats. <laughs> and so many books I could never read them all. And pancakes. Lots of pancakes. Hey! Is there anything in this library about that fellow everyone's talking about? Oh! Ugh, oh, right. I read about that. The fell gauntlet. Usually, whoever wields the fell gauntlet can control the dead. But when the gauntlet is lost, when nobody's wielding it, the dead go proper mad. How could Valdo have lost the gauntlet in the first place? It's attached to his hand, is it no? If losing the gauntlet is what causes the fallow, then the last time this happened was when Heavensong killed the last fell lord. What? Lord Valdo, we have to hurry. Uh, you've unlocked a lore entry, the Fell Gauntlet. That was Act 1, Mission 2 in Echo Wood Village. And again, I'm going to replay all these uh, maps to get the full stars later on. Act 1, Mission 3, the Fortress. The rescue squad raced to save Lord Valder, but are they too late? Seat of power in the land of the undead, Felheim Fortress. Major so show, sir. We've finished surveilling the fortress. We bring news. Your Majesty, apparently there's no sign of Valder anywhere. His goons appear to be attacking Felheim Fortress itself. Then Valder... I think he's gone, guys. What? Gone? Like, dead? I can't even believe it. We should say something to send him off. He's just walking around. <laughs> to Lord Valder. Oh. Aye, to Lord Valder. Lord Valder? Greetings. Oh, hello, children. Lord Valder! Valder! You're alright? No. I'm not. <laughs> you're going lit, so you did lose it. Stolen from me in the dead of night. So that's what caused the fallow. What can we do to help? Help? We are done helping this place. We may be treaty bound to help the fell lord of Felheim, but without the gauntlet, Valder ain't it. Simple as that. He's with you. Ah. You've been trying to stop us from helping Felheim this whole time. What did they do to you? Orla. Ah. What did they do? Bah. They killed Prince Koji's grandparents, that's what. The fell king and his undead ilk. They attacked without warning. The Imperial City nearly fell. Oh, Emperor! Where are you hiding? King Caspar. Your wife put up such a disappointing fight. I was just a kid back then, but the Empire trained me well. When I saw the Fell King charge into the Emperor's chambers... Oh, wow. Good on Chosa. I did it. I killed the coward. The gauntlet vanished in a veil of darkness. And when the darkness lifted at last, there was Koji's mum, cradling the head of her da dying father. You cannot imagine the pain that gauntlet has caused. No. I have no need to imagine. <laughs> I remember. When the gauntlet vanished, Felheim erupted into fallow. Your imperial city stands strong to this day. My village, it no longer exists. Do not speak to me of agony. 
There is enough in Felheim to last eons. When I became Fell Lord, I vowed to prevent the next fallow. Having failed that, I will do anything to stop it now. Help me or do not. I will still find a way. I must. What do you need? A way to the fortress. I will not fail. I must stop her. You heard the man. Let's go. We need to find a way to get inside the fortress. How can we make it across the river? We can all fit in one balloon. If we can close that floodgate, the river should be shallow enough for us to cross. Let's go. Lower the floodgate. So this is... Controls the flow of water through narrow passages. Floodgate. It's vulnerable to giants and trebuchets. As well as commanders and cavalry. So, balloon. Aircraft able to transport foot soldiers, dogs, and air troopers. Uh -huh. And then, a powerful unit built to combat air threats. Critical hit when defense is three or above. Heal restores 20 health to allied targets. Right, Tengu can't capture. So, let's see. It's like, I want to put you here. Then you there. And uh, this... Review major unit? Yeah. So they're strong versus most land units, devastating versus air units, deadly when attacking from mountain or forest tiles. So crit at plus, uh, 3 plus tile defense and restores 20 health to as many as 5 allies. Uh, yeah, same thing. Yeah. Okay. So I think I actually want to just go ahead and start capturing. And then... What is this? Air Trooper flies over units but must land on solid ground. Crits when a second air trooper is opposite to target. I'm pretty sure this must be a new unit. Because I don't remember seeing this before. They can fly over enemy lines, attacks from the ground only. They capture structures and strong versus heavy or wheeled units. Crit when the target is sandwiched between this unit and another air trooper. Okay. Alright, well, we'll keep that in mind then. Uh, so the Tengu can attack us, uh, well, the Aeronaut rather, can attack us, but I don't think they would. So we'll put there. Right. Koji and uh, Errol and Ola can't fit into the balloon. So we'll just move our units further across. And we have 200 gold. We we'll just want to save that, right? Uh, yes, review the balloon unit. So it transports up to two of any foot soldier or dog. When the unit is defeated, any unit it carries is lost. Useful for reaching inaccessible areas and for making hasty retreats, but highly vulnerable to attack. Right. So yeah, just double checking. Errol and Ola can't... Oh, they can fit. Right, well that makes things a lot simpler because I just ferry them across. Oh, but keep an eye on the blister range, actually. Uh, do I want another swords unit? Yeah, I think I do. They do go for the the, the mage. Or the thunder bear, as they are called. Okay, sure. Errol? Errol? I had no idea about Koji's family. And his ma seen it all. Must have been awful. Alright, so I can't attack with the alchemist from the south. How much does this do? 68%? Oh, they, oh they're on ground. Right, yes, yeah, so that makes sense. They don't counterattack. Air units. Okay. So moving forward. Uh, we'll go south, I guess. Uh, right. I can attack to do 35. What do I actually want to do? I kind of want to just put Errol and Orla down on this side, I guess. Yeah, this is fine. So I drop here and there. Careful, soldier. Watch the range on those ballistae. They'll rip our balloon to shreds. Remember, when transport units fall, whoever they're carrying will be lost as well. Oh, I didn't actually check. 
So the objective is to lower the floodgate, win in 10 or fewer turns, and use the twins to defeat the enemy commander. Alright, well the enemy commander doesn't exist yet. And also, I don't know if I'll be able to do this within 10 turns, but... Oh well. Alright, so... Do I... Go for the archer with the Tengu? Well, I can get rid of the air trooper at least. Oh, I can't. That sucks. Oh well. 63% on the archer to 30% back. Or 70... Yeah, we'll do 70%. Because that's minimal. And then I might as well use the alchemist to get rid of the air trooper. And if that's the case, I might as well move the ballista to be able to attack the floodgate switch. And this one can move down as well. 500 is not enough for Tengu, so we'll save the gold. Dog and a cavalry. Hmm? Let's go for Errol and Orla. I do like the snazzy yellow colours for them. We're gonna have a, such a good story to tell Dar when we get home, eh, Errol? Saving Felheim, storming a fortress. Careful, you jinxes. Alright. Uh, let's see. So, capture this. Kind of want to hmm, move the alchemist. 900. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll make the Tengu, and then we'll go back, reinforce. Attack this skeleton. Then... We want to... Oh, oh! you have to move next to the switch to actually use it. Alright, well that simplifies things a little bit. So what we do is we just kill this archer. Then use the Tengu to attack the cavalry. Uh-huh. Okay. So that's that. Then close floodgates. Looks like there's a clear path to the fortress now. Not clear. We've still got a fight ahead of us. Move it. On the double. So, new objective is storm the fortress. So, I actually want to just send my units northwards now. Okay. Alright. So, what do we do? It's like, I could decide to put... Uh, I think the balloon gets one shot by a ballista no matter what, right? So they are effective on aeronauts and balloons. Yeah, at full health, it will always one-shot a balloon. Hmm. But I could keep it out of the range of the ballista. So let's see. So the forest is safe, but the balloon can't reach that space. So it's like we do this to attack. We move the balloon over here, because it's out of range, and what, we use this to attack and build some groove charge, maybe? Yeah, and it also stops the dog from being able to pass through easily. Yeah. Uh, 24 gold is not enough to do anything with, so enter. No! Of course, they're going for Errol and Orla, because obviously they're low HP. What does this item do again? Groove juice. Charges to the next tier. Right, let's see. Well, let's do this. 42%. 40%. And then the Tengus do 36. So I guess it's do this. Plus this. But the Tengus can't capture. 35% on a tower. 
It's only 40% with the Tengu. Well, I'm going to have to be in range of the Ballista no matter what. So it's like... Stick him into the balloon. Stick him into the balloon. And then watch what's on this side. Yeah. Gate there. Okay. So... This is a risky play somewhat because it's leaving my commanders isolated, but it's the only way to get the com it's only it's the only way to do this within 10 turns, I think. Where is that girl? The nerve of her leaving me with all these undead. Ugh, they're everywhere. Ah, you get away from me. Get back. Vesper? Oh no, I forgot she was here. I should have known that cowbag was behind this, all the trouble she's caused us. Guess three years of banishment and isolation didn't calm her down. We're coming for you, Vesper, do you hear me? And that's why it's used the twins. Approaching enemy base, heaven speed, soldiers. So yes, defeat Vesper and use the twins to do so. Well, 62% groove, 83% groove. Could make the case of just like blitzing everyone in there with Groove. And I don't have to specify that the commanders have to pick up the item, it's just any unit can do it, so. Uh, right. Let's see. Yeah, I guess I'll put units this way. Again, I am not going to be able to avoid being in ballista range, so I might as well just move as much up as I can. So attack this tower, and then attack this tower, and then move you up. Now don't attack the village because it's pointless. Ooh, 524. I mean, I need more units, but I want to save up for high movement units, and uh, yeah, not enough for that. So that's it. Yeah. What's going on out there? An army? Now of all times? Oh. Sick up. Hopefully I can hold them off until that moron Ragnar gets back. I cast a long shadow. Alright, I did forget what Vespa sounded like, to be honest. <laughs> Careful around those ballista, soldier, that'll cost us. There's not really anything you can do. Fine, yep. Twenty percent. Mm-hmm. So you gotta die. And no, not quite. Not quite death. Oh, that's yeah, okay. Hmm. Because I can't attack the air units, I actually have to pull my commanders back. Turn 5. Yeah, I'm not going to get this done in 10 turns, I don't think. Uh, but Vesper, outlaw banished to Felheim for a role in a string of high-profile robberies. Uh, oh, there's, not, there's no codex for her. But she did use Shadow Sister. An imperfect copy of Vesper, able to cause considerable damage to the Hugh Smoke Shroud, but extremely fragile. 110% on an air trooper. Yeah, uh, unfortunately I have to pull my commanders back. But it can't be helped. So, capture. Then do this. Let's get rid of the tower. Then, what? Attack the swordsman or the dog? Well, I'm pulling my units back anyway. Who am I? Let's see. I could just decide to do Scorching Fire, like, here. And burn anyone that tries to attempt to attack me. That's not a bad idea, actually. Let's do that. Scorching fire. Okay. And then... Yeah, because the air units will take 
20% damage. No matter what. Let's do that. Koji, I must thank you for coming to my aid. Mom says the prince has got to protect his allies. Your mother does not look kindly on us, I fear. Okay. We're almost there, guys. Ragnar. Alright, uh, let's see. Attack the dog. I think I attack the swordsman. But now, it's like, well, I can't capture with the Tengu. So I just move my units up here. Thousand gold. Hmm. I guess I need a cavalry. And 400 gold means I can't do anything else with that. What do I do? What do I do? 19%. 12%. Yeah, these ballistas are kind of annoying. Alright, let's see. So, I can attack the air troopers back. It's only the aeronaut that I can't. And then the question there is, how much do you do Scorching Emblem 105? Alright, Codex. So, against a balloon you do 50. And that's at full health, so I do 40%-ish. Can't do anything with that, so end turn. Okay, so they're coming towards me. And it wasn't a crit either. So this will do what? 40%? No, not, not 40%. Well, I can't counterattack. Prince Koji! Stop worrying about me and focus! I think I'm going to end up pulling them back anyway. Just because this is risky. But it's a good placement for the emblem, honestly. Get 40% damage done. Oh yeah, the, the giant's coming this way? Yeah, definitely get him out of there. Oh, the blister are moving! Ooh, the blister are moving. Hang on! Watch out for Vespa's Shadow Sisters, they deal nasty damage! Incredibly fragile though, one hit from anything's enough to take them out. Well, the Vespa's coming towards me, that makes it a little bit easier. 